ang sigal sa city. Ito siya pa kung kung ano yung kung ano ang kang matabo sa mini event. And the Lord prepared the plan and made it come over Jonah that it might be a shame for his head to deliver him from his misery. So, di ka anas ang Diyos ang anong pag ipatubo na para makasilong na si Jonah. So, Jonah was actually very grateful for the plan. But this morning dawn, nagpadala ang Diyos sa ulod. Kaya ang ulod na ina, di ka o ng tanong, pag ang tanong na patay. But siyempre, si Jonah ang aking naman. Kabaya, it is better for me to die than to live. Then God asked Jonah once again, Is it right for you to be angry about the flat? Chakto na pala ka mga aking gato o sa tanong? And ang bali Jonah, It is right for me to be angry even to death. Makita ang angry siya, no? And you have pity on the flat, ang bali Lord, for which you have not labored nor made it grow, which came up in the night and perished in the night. And should I not pity me in that? The great city which are more than 120,000 people who could not even discern from their right and lock them, not even their livestock. So, ang bali, Lord, so, nanaloo ka sa tanong na hindi man ikaw ang nagpudyan, na hindi man ikaw ang nagpadako? Kaya ko pala, hindi ko, hindi ko dapat maluoy sa mga tao sa minibre? Mga 100,000 na sila kabilo? Hindi na sila kabalo? Ang difference ng inang left and right hand? So, brothers and sisters, so mga patong tangano, in this chapter from Jonah, sino kita bala? That lovely plant that grows up to provide shade before withering reminds Jonah and us that God's grace is more than what we understand. Huh? Ang tanong na remind sa ato, yung ang gracia sa Diyos na mawa sa ato pag ikindi. But what if Brothers and sisters, we are the great city in need of redemption. What if it's that we see ourselves as a hesitant prophet set in the big city in need of repentance? We perceive ourselves as the great city in need of redemption. What if we are needed then? To jog your memory, mga kautura, needed then was the world's, was the capital of the world's most powerful empire, the Assyrian Empire. No, I'm gonna show you how to sa early ages. And Jonah doesn't miss this thing, but prophet Nahum does. And according to him, in Nahum 3, verse 1, War is a city of bloodshed that displays nation. Kung sa nilikay nun, pakailo ang banwa na madugo, siya puno sa kabutigan at inatihan. Ang mga tulungbon, wala na kauntag. It also in light of our current economic crisis, and bailouts. According to Malcolm 3.16, you increase your merchants more than the stars of heaven. Pipuan mo ang iyong mga manubaligya na pipa sa katitoon sa langit. Sa mga na palitay sa mga tao. Capitalism. Hindi ba, this great city, the capital of the world trading empire, has come to God's attention. But God doesn't want Hindi ba to be destroyed. God wants me to better turn, to repent. God wants to save me better. So despite brothers and sisters, now in the day, it's a very sexual city, still God wants it to be able to save me better. He wants to be able to save me better. We too live in a moment that God wants earth to turn, to change its course, to repent immediately, so that the world will not be destroyed. To be clear, mga kautoran, we are currently confronted by numerous crises, no? Na mula mo, crisis na hindi na atubang sa buong nagod, ang COVID, ang pagsasaka sa ang grudo. But global climate change, brothers and sisters, however, is the most dangerous problem we and our empire are causing. The one with the most dangerous and long-term effects could affect hundreds and millions of people. And the time is so that we are not able to change the culture. 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 The crisis of global warming or hurting, according to our ever increasing use of fossil fuels. Global climate 
change is a disaster that has been wrecking havoc on many of the world's most vulnerable populations because of the lack of sea ice, no? Ang mga balay nila, wala kami pagkakita sa mga bagyo. They can collapse right into the water. African farmers who have been farming for generations are unable to put us crop to wala ka kaunan. Wala ka sila may matanong, wala ka may natubog, wala ka may kaunan. Droughts are unprecedented in much of Africa. The great injustice of climate change is that populations have done nothing because it will be the ones to suffer the most. Even the amount of increasing the sea levels is already destroying the entire islands of the Pacific. Just 40 days, Jonah tells me to him. Perhaps Jonah didn't even realize, Nidibe, sorry, didn't even realize that it was wrong, what it was doing to the world, to other nations and to its own people, just like us. Earth doesn't even realize that it's destroying ourselves. People don't realize it's destroying Earth, God's creation. We were supposed to be stewards of his creation. For a long time, we were unaware of the effects of fossil fuels. But of course, we have little understanding about greenhouse physics and the dangers of carbon emissions. But for the past, past years, people have known, people have been warned by modern prophets. Despite, despite this, our country, like Jonah, headed in the opposite direction of their vision of God. We ignore those scientists. We, kung pa 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 kung instead of starting to make the modern measure changes that could have saved us. God has been sending scientists as prophets to us to plead with us to warn us of irreversible tipping points we risk provoking, such as melting of the Arctic sea ice and the melting of the Greenland ice sheets, which would cause sea levels to rise, much as Jonah was sent to preach to me then. How well in that three to five years? And I believe them, and I hope that you believe them too. The consequences of not repenting and turning around would be terrible. So the consequences, kung hindi ito magbalik sa Diyos, kung pag-inusos na din pag-inusos na sa iba niya ng creation, would be terrible, and it's critical. Yet there is so much good news in the book of Jonah that could actually help us face this crisis. So sa buong ni Jonah, tabo, ito yung news na mapapulig sa ito, na mapatubang sa gila, sa crisis ngayon eh. So first and foremost, God loves me to them. God loves that city. Even though it's full of sin, God loves over 120,000 people, and God loves all the animals. This is excellent news! God does not decree the destruction of Nineveh. God wants to save the world from catastrophe, and God cares deeply about us. So, perhaps the woman said, you know, is that, you know, 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 God still wants us to repent. God, gusto yung matay sa baron. Second, Nineveh and both, Nineveh can and both turn. Nineveh's people have repented. They repent ang people sa Nineveh. Even the animals put on sackcloth and ashes. The blueprint of Nineveh provides for how a massive, imperial capital city can be turned around in just 40 days and can serve as a model and how our nation can change direction today. We are very lucky actually, mga kautoran, because ang Nineveh yung 40 days na kinatag sila, kitaya ko nung may 3 to 5 years pa. See? God is very compassionate and... Wag ba lang tao, hindi sa yan. Hindi 
Asia, this great ship of state, with all the people and animals reverse course because of strong leadership. It changed its policy fast, so pati ang leader ni Laya is strong, and it made it sila sa, sa right path, kaya kinabalan din sila, mag-repel sila. So, we, we actually elected a new leader. I hope and pray to God that that leader would lead us and help us turn our ways. How do we deal with the critics and claims that it could be too expensive? Actually, brothers and sisters, ang mga nag-inabal sa ibang mga tao, fighting climate change is actually expensive. No? Mag, mag, renewal, mag, gamit ka lang sa renewable energy actually is kind of pricey. And how do we even, to those who believe Jonah, that the prophet was exaggerating the danger? The free markets, if we change our ways, for example, the Philippines would change its ways, the country would be seen as incompetitive in the global market. So how does, how can we do it? No? And according to the Bible, the entire city of Nineveh, the imperial capital turned. When I said that, but what's the matter? The building is there, so just because they know that whatever happens, ang isigal na makasinig sa ila. That is the definition of repentance. It changed course. The king even humbly said that this is what we must do, and he then launched a rapid fire campaign to shift the public opinion. And he said, perhaps it will be in time. Hopefully, brothers and sisters, we will be able to avert the calamity and avoid being destroyed. He even enlisted the help of the animals in returning the entire community. The third and the most important piece of good news is that calamity has been avoided by Nineveh. God does show mercy. This is, of course, what makes Jonah so enraged to chapter 4 scene in the bush. Ang muli na nang aking si Jonah, kahit ka, hindi na ka makapatawa doon sa Diyos. No, despite, he was thinking that he did deserve sa Nineveh ang chance na hinagat si God. I knew, he said, that you were a God who was slow to anger, abundant in selfless love and willing to forgive. So, ang balik siya, nakapalo siya ka ang Diyos. Hindi tapos siya mga api. So, mga patawarong din. Kaya grabe, hapag pa lang ba sa mga tao. There are only 40 days left. However, Jonah's good news is that there is still time to avoid calamity. Our top scientists even assure us that, that there is still time. There isn't much time, but there is enough time. Three to five years of grace. If we don't cross those irreversible thresholds, brothers and sisters, the earth has the incredible ability to heal us. To be sure, global warming, our climate crisis, or climate change isn't a divine punishment. Hindi na yan punishment sa ato. Sa Diyos, kita na yan ang ibo sa kaguli mo sa kita na yan ang ibo kung maa ang earth, kilala ng high years of ba't ang patay na ang earth ng mga hangturan. That is a significant distinction from the Jonah story and we must emphasize it. It is the logic of consequences, the fact that certain actions cause other things to happen in this physical world that God has created. In this magnificent environment that this is the physics of carbon dioxide and the heat traffic gases. We can keep cutting drinks to the road without warming up the earth. We can keep destroying our environment without us even suffering. Regardless, God created this lovely world with grace and healing in mind. Need that can serve as a metaphor for our nation, but sa isa isa sa atin, a role model and motivation for the urgent repentance that will be demanded, demanded of us in the coming years. This story has astonishing and wonderful news for the event. News that I hope that we all might 
take the heart. We could certainly compete with Nineveh. The prophet Jonah continues to speak the thing. But as a Bhagavan called Radha Malya Mutiyamna, if we don't repent, then we will be destroyed. And the Venomara continues to give us the central truths from God. But God still loves the civilization enough to beg it to turn around. So for the Almaty Bhagavan Khatsa Khatsa, Sama Mutuhuran, God, despite what I don't even know, doesn't even know each other. But I'm not going to get those answers. He is very fast. I'm not going to get those answers. It is still possible to see Brimani, and it's not too late. Help us, O Lord. Turn us into you. Lead us back to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.